This is one of the buildings of the Star Tobacco Company, later known as Lickett & Myers. Uh, now on the National Historic Res uh, Register, and even though it's an industrial building, there are a lot of neat uh, architectural elements to it. The fire escapes obviously were added much later. Uh, Parts of you see the uh, large embossing uh, detail, the structure for the Star Tobacco Company up on top, and it's on, actually on, on a couple of different corners of the building. Uh, you also, if you look over some of the windows, they have uh, uh, raised arches over windows. They've got Corbell raised arches. They've got uh, really nice dressed limestone on the first level. Uh, things were built not just for utility, and this was very much a utilitarian building, but they had some style and a statement of... Uh, of corporate uh, endurance and of corporate uh, uh, stature. Uh, this whole complex here of, of buildings has things like wonderful uh, round windows that are highly decorated with uh, uh, brickwork around them. Uh, which, you know, it's just a little industrial building. Uh, there were uh, Chimneys that have that are fluted to the top, which is not a, a structural necessity in any way, shape, or form, but it made it look more graceful and uh, uh, nicer lines to it. Uh, and it was just an interesting way of of building and a statement. When a, a time when school buildings were built as a statement of uh, the commitment to education and public buildings were built to state we are we have arrived and we are proud of ourselves.